Right now at five, tracking Laura's aftermath. People across Southeast Texas and Southwest Louisiana returning home and surveying the damage. And it really is a tale of two states. Scenes of devastation on the right there of your screen, places like Lake Charles. In orange, yes, a little leftover water and plenty of downed trees and power lines, but certainly the damage here in Southeast Texas is more manageable. The Category 4 monster made landfall early this morning in Cameron Parish. The storm making history going down as one of the strongest recorded storms to hit Louisiana in more than 150 years. Tonight, we have a team of reporters spread out across our region monitoring the aftermath from Orange to Port Arthur to Mid-County. 12 News has you covered. Let's talk about the power situation. Tens of thousands of homes and businesses still do not have electricity. This is the energy outage map, and it's in the area mode, the grid here. Jefferson County has 60,000 plus outages. Orange County, more than 38,000 homes and businesses in the dark. So the grand total, as you see on your screen, upwards of 100,000, and that is just in our immediate area. Governor Greg Abbott came to Orange today to survey the situation. 12 News reporter Jordan James begins our team coverage. Hurricane Laura dealt a huge blow to many across Orange. Take this building behind me, for example, completely destroyed and nearby power lines down as well, illustrating just how strong the winds were from Hurricane Laura. Governor Abbott and other state leaders came to Orange to assess the damage left behind from Laura. With Orange not being too far from Louisiana, the impact was felt across the whole community as several trees are down, along with power lines. In some cases, buildings completely completely destroyed. Governor Abbott says despite the damage to property, Texas came out better than expected. We would not be gathering here right now had we seen a 10 foot or higher foot storm surge uh, in this region like what was anticipated earlier. And so when you consider the magnitude of the damage that could have occurred here, we did dodge a bullet. At Laura's peak, winds reached up to 100 miles per hour in parts of Orange, causing widespread debris. Several people in Orange are without power, and officials say it could be like that for the next several days. So be sure to stick with 12 News as we continue to stay on Laura's recovery efforts. Reporting here in Orange, Jordan James, 12 News.